Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And now we're going to take a look at some features that form due to igneous rocks. Igneous intrusions are basically when magma or lava is pushed up through different types of rocks within that make up the surface. When it does that, sometimes it cools. And what we get what's called igneous intrusions. So this magma started and forced up and through, and what ends up happening is it cools. So you notice there's a marked difference between the rock and the intrusion um, that's going through it. So these are igneous intrusions, also known as dikes, that basically are going to move up and through and eventually harden and solidify. And notice we can see a very difference in color right here. So different color, most likely different minerals making it up. So we can see intrusions like that. Sometimes like this. Here, we have an intrusion that cut up and through. And we can definitely tell us something different. So we have these nice deposited horizontal layers. And then all of a sudden, this intrusion comes up through a darker gray color. Once again, that magma comes up and through the rock, cools and hardens in place. Beaches. We can see it. We go to Orchard Beach. We can see these igneous intrusions right here, cutting right through this rock. It'll go in this way. So definitely when we're out in nature and we see something like this, we have to go, what happened? Magma came up and through, cooled and hardened right in place. Okay, this is looking at another one. Same thing, the intrusion comes through, splits. Quartz veins, or actually a lot of different uh, mineral veins that we hear of are forming in a similar way. This molten material is going to come up and through, cool and harden in place. And so we can see these quartz moving through, or even like this. And sometimes they can contain these valuable metals or metals that we mine for that can make us a lot of money. Here's an igneous intrusion, similar to a dike. It's going to come up and through, cutting through some rock layers. But what sills do is they come up and then they move out horizontally. And through years of weathering and erosion, we can actually see this differential or this sill um, actually form and change landscapes. Where? Well, if we can go into New Jersey, we can see the Palisade Sill. So this is all igneous rock right here that basically material weathered away around it. Another feature that we don't find in igneous rocks are fossils. Remember, igneous rocks form from the cooling and solidification of lava. Well, if you have a fossil, which is a, a remain of an organism that was once alive, it's not going to be able to survive that magma or lava or those increased temperatures right there. So we do not find any fossils in igneous rocks. So if you pick up a rock and you see an imprint of a leaf or any other fossil or a shell, it's definitely not igneous and it must be, it must be sedimentary, uh, a sedimentary rock. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the last of the igneous rocks uh, screencast. Have a great day.